Hey, Brienne here. I have the Mystery Yarn Club and a super fun holiday bag to open. And, and so let's do it. Gonna use my muscles. So it's called Shiver. So I was reading Cheryl's notes. <laughs> okay, and she sent me Worsted Weight. So it's um, a white base with loads of speckles. So we have like this um, blue speckles, lots of green speckles, red and orange black. Here's my cat coming down the stairs. Um, a little bit of yellow. Like it's just pure speckle. Okay. So since I know how to wind yarn, let's see what it looks like open. <laughs> okay. So This is going to be so pretty. Okay, so she sent me worsted, so I'll have to come up with something awesome to knit with it. I don't know what that's going to be. I have so many hats. I'm thinking maybe a scarf of some kind. Probably. Okay, so let's get this to three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, it's not as nice as Cheryl does it, but <laughs> it'll work. Okay, so I'm going to wind shiver and then go ahead and start some sort of, maybe not necessarily a scarf, but maybe like a tighter cowl. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research of what exactly I'm going to knit, but probably something for the neck since it's on worsted. I'll have to think about it. But I will wind it and I will get something knitted up. And in the meantime, we finished the 12 holidays yesterday. I hope that you enjoyed them as much as I did coming up with the patterns and knitting them for you. And I would love your feedback um, of what you liked about the holidays? What did you not like about the holidays? Did you like getting the email every day with the link? Except day one where I had obviously messed up. Or would you have preferred one newsletter in the end with a roundup instead of one every day? Um, did you like the patterns? Do you only want stuff that you can wear? Did you like having things for around the house? Just any, any of your opinions, you can comment here on the video. You can send me an email to the hello at hypnoticyarn.com and tell me. Um, I'm, I'm open to the good and the bad um, of, cause, because for I do plan on doing them for next year if you want to see it. And instead of trying to create 12 patterns within like 90 days, I'm <laughs> probably going to start soon and kind of spread it out, maybe do one pattern a month so I can plan out because it was kind of a, a mad rush <laughs> for me in the end. Um, so anyway, I would love to hear what you thought about the holidays. And that is kind of all we have going on right now. I know that Cheryl 
is done dyeing yarn for the year. She will start, um, we'll, the next shop update will probably in January. And that's also at the beginning of the new year sometime. I know that she'll also be opening up the Mystery Yarn Club again for new members to join. And it's seriously my favorite thing to get in the mail every month. It's the favorite thing ever. Um, I love surprises. So do look forward to that. She will post when that's open for new members to join. And then I know that she has um, the monthly birthday schemes that she will be having or she'll be doing for next year like she did for November and December birthday month. Um, and then she has like some special extras to go along with that as well. And that's kind of it um, for the moment as far as news goes. So let me wind this up. I'm going to start knitting something and then I'll be back with it um, in a minute. Bye. Hey, okay, so I wound Shiver. This is what Shiver looks like wound. And I started knitting and I know I specifically said I was not going to knit a hat because I have a lot of hats. Well, I actually started knitting a hat, but I am giving it to my sister-in-law for her birthday, which is in January. Um, I am knitting the Storms of Bruin hat with it, and the Storms of Bruin hat actually calls for DK or two strands of fingering. I have war sib. It doesn't seem to have made a difference um, in the size of the hat, but just for good measure, I went ahead and used size six needle along the, the ribbing and then changed to size seven for the hat. And I mean, I think it's actually gonna work out pretty well. I've tried it on and it seems to fit pretty perfectly. Um, so I'm not, not concerned about using a heavier weight yarn for Storms of Bruin because it seems absolutely perfect. I am almost done actually. And it is so pretty. Make sure the focus is right. So here's what Shiver, the December Mystery Yarn Club, looks like knitted. Gorgeous is what it is. Um, and let's see, I've actually knitted two pair of uh, mittens. So here's a pair for my daughter. One of my so this I actually knit with two strands of fingering. This was a, a freebie pattern, mitten pattern that I found on Ravelry. And I've, I made a couple of changes. I did an extra long cuff with one by one twisted rib, which is probably one of my favorites. I like the twisted rib or two by two ribbing is my preference. Um, so I did that so they would be nice and long and cozy and this was actually knit with um do I have that yeah here two strands of fingering one of which is Cheryl's this is called grape juice it's not in the shop I don't know if she ever had it in the shop maybe she did I'm not sure but it's super pretty it's just so many different um, what's it called? Shades. <laughs> Shades of purple. It's Sunday night. I'm like done. I'm ready to have my wine, um, and move on with the day. Okay. So this <laughs> is a great juice, um, which is super pretty. So that's one of the yarns. And the second yarn I used with it is May's Mystery Yarn Club, which was Technicolor. And mine actually has, I don't know if you can tell, my Technicolor has the little shiny bits. Uh, maybe you can kind of see the, the, the shine. Maybe not. Anyway, so I held both of those together 
to, and it made this beautiful colorway. It really matches my daughter's personality. She really likes purple. She always has with a little bit of grays and oranges mixed in. I think they turned out really well. I'm super happy with those. And then I made a pair of mittens for myself using the November Mystery Yarn Club. Um, this was called Cornucopia, and this hands down is my favorite of the yarn, um, the mystery yarn so far. And maybe even my favorite of all of Cheryl's yarn. Cheryl, I want you to bring this back. It's, it is what everything that I dream of, I think find it beautiful. So here's what it looks like knitted. Here are my finished mittens for myself. Let me just put them on because I want to. Beautiful. So I wish I had done the cuff a little bit longer, but they're still pretty good. Um, so yes, I'm very, very happy with how those turned out. So I still have about half of my skein ish, maybe just under half of my skein left. I don't know what I'm going to do with it since this one is DK weight. It's so pretty. I wish I could get another hint, hint, Cheryl. I'd love to have another skein <laughs> of apothecary to make like, I want a whole matching set. I want a hat. I want a scarf. I want the whole thing. It's so pretty. Uh, okay, so that's kind of all I have. I'm going to finish my sister-in-law's hat. So, Shiver, December December's Mystery Yarn Club. Super pretty. That's gorgeous. And then what I'm going to do, my plan, and I won't show you, but in this bag, I have all 24 of the advent calendar yarn that I opened up on the previous video. I am actually going to wind and magic knot all of them together and make myself a, um, the so faded jumper or the sweater with it. So that's, um, that's going to be my next project and I can work on it while we're on our Tahoe vacation. It's like a four hour drive ish for us up there. So I do plan on getting started on, um, making that sweater while we're gone and hopefully it won't take me too long. And I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday, whatever holidays you celebrate or don't celebrate. Hope you have a fantastic new year and I will see y'all in January. Bye.